When deciding on which web hosting provider you should go for, there are three key elements you need to consider. And if you pay attention to all three elements, not only will you end up with a better product for a lower price, but you will also future-proof your project for years to come. The very first thing you should pay attention to is what type of software the company uses to run their servers. Web hosting companies generally use one out of three options for software. Either it's Apache, Nginx, or Lightspeed. Lightspeed is the newest option and offers by far the fastest loading times. In fact, it's around two times faster than Nginx and a crazy six times faster than Apache. So if you have little to no experience, Lightspeed offers the best performance straight out of the box. Narrowing down your choices to providers that only use Lightspeed will make your experience so much better and we can test this very easily. So here is the exact same website, same design, same text, same pictures. This one is hosted on a 299 Lightspeed server from Hostinger and this one is hosted on a 545 Apache server from Bluehost. Let's run a speed test on both of them. We're mostly interested in this TTFB or time to first byte metric. It shows how long it takes for the server to respond once we ask it to load our site. As you can see, Bluehost responded in 1.4 seconds, while Hostinger did it in 90 milliseconds. That's 14 times faster, resulting in Hostinger fully loading the site in 0.8 seconds, while Bluehost was 5.5 times slower, loading the exact same site in 4.3 seconds. Very close to our benchmark of Apache versus Lightspeed. And considering Bluehost is almost twice as expensive, if you would have bought Bluehost, you would have made a bad call. That's why I'm glad you're watching this video, because there are still two more factors that will significantly affect your choice. And if you're interested, some of the biggest web hosting companies that currently offer Lightspeed servers are as follows. Hostinger, Scala Hosting, A2 Hosting, Hemicloud, WebHostMost, InterServer, and NameHero. And by the way, I will leave all of the discount coupon codes, tutorials, and other links I have for all of these providers down in the description below, because you can get a pretty significant discount with most of them just by using a coupon code or a discount link. Web hosting is just that type of service. So this already narrows the list quite a bit. Of course, there are differences between these options as well. So let's dive a bit further and see my point number two. What type of hardware are they using for their servers? Apart from software, server performance is largely dependent on three physical components, the processor, the memory, and the storage. While it's very hard to know exactly what type of CPU or a RAM stick a provider is using, it's very easy to know what type of storage they're using. It's always one of three types, either a mechanical drive called an HDD, a semiconductor type drive called an SSD, or a fancier SSD with a better data transfer protocol called an NVMe drive. As you can see, NVMe drives are around 7 times faster than regular SSDs and around 35 times faster than HDDs. Now, luckily, we live in 2024. Practically, there are no web hosting providers left that are still using HDD, but if you somehow found one, stay away, because your website will load like this. I mean, it's charming, but with kids having 0.3 seconds attention span due to TikToks, uh, yeah, that won't cut it. In reality, both SSD and NVMe plans are still well within the this works super fast realm, but NVMe will scale better with larger websites and is much more future-proof as website creation tools are getting larger and heavier in general. But keep an eye out when buying though, because for example, Scala Hosting uses NVMe in all of their plans, while A2 Hosting offers NVMe in some of their plans. Ideally, you do want to use NVMe, and it doesn't have to be super expensive. Hostinger offers NVMe-powered plans for just $3.99 a month for unlimited websites, or if you're creating just one, Chemicloud offers their starter plan for $2.95 a month. And now, you know why some websites feel really fast and others feel slow. 
It's largely dependent on the software and the storage type of the server where the website is hosted. However, being fast isn't the only metric. It's just one part of a good website. It needs to stay fast when more and more and more and more visitors come to the website. This is where the CPU and RAM come in. In general, the more CPU cores and more RAM the plan has, the more users it can sustain before crashing or slowing down. As a rule of thumb, I use around 7 megabytes per user. So if a plan comes with 1024 megabytes of RAM or 1 gig, it's enough for around 150 simultaneous website visitors. And again, this is very easy to test. For example, here, I have a plan with 2 gigabytes of RAM, and I've just sent 1000 virtual users to that website, meaning it can't sustain those numbers. So I let the test run for 20 minutes, and I have just keep adding users each 30 seconds. As you can see here, right up until 400 virtual users, the website is holding fine. The red line doesn't even move, there are zero failures, meaning no users are seeing error pages on my website. But as soon as we pass 400, failure rates begin to increase, meaning some of my bots are not reaching the website, they're reaching an error page. And it's not going down. With more users, my failure rate is increasing, meaning more and more bots are having difficulties reaching my website. So with 2 gigabytes, I was able to hold around 400 users or around 5 megabytes of RAM per user. This amount varies based on how complex your site is, so when you're buying a plan, make guesstimations on how many users should your website fit. And I mean, it doesn't have to be like very complicated calculations. If you just have a personal CV website or a portfolio website, there's probably never going to be more than 10 people on it at once. If it's a personal business site, there might be like 50 potential clients on your site browsing every second. If it's an e-commerce site and you launch some ad campaigns, be prepared for influxes of 300 to 400 people. I mean, these are just rough guesstimates, but it helps. Here's a chart of each provider I mentioned that runs Lightspeed and NVMe. They each offer their respective amount of resources for Quite a varied price, starting with Name Hero at 179 for 1 GB of RAM and 1 CPU core, and ending with Scala Hosting for 2 GB of RAM and 2 cores that will end up costing you $14.95. Okay, so hopefully now you understand how to evaluate what's under the hood, and choosing a plan doesn't seem just such a daunting task. But Knowing what's under the hood is just half the battle. For most people, the interior of the car is just as important as the engine. So this brings me to my third point, the price they charge you for it. The price is different because each provider has a different control panel. While they all do the exact same thing, they look and feel different. Some are easier to use and navigate if you've never created a website before, for example, Hostinger, it's all streamlined and tailored specifically to beginner users, making the experience of creating a website as easy as possible, while offering everything you need to get started right out of the box. Some allow for more advanced customization by giving you the choice of what server software you want to run or a detailed analysis of your firewall with permissions to block malicious IP addresses, like Scala Hosting does. But to keep it simple, here's exactly what I recommend you choose. If it's your first website, don't spend more than $5 a month. It's never worth more than that. Hemicloud, InterServer, and Hostinger are all great starter options. I usually lean towards Hostinger due to their ease of use, but feel free to go for any of these options, they're great. If you want a one-step upgrade in performance, A2 Hosting and their managed run plan, you'll lose out on ease of use, but you'll get a lot more resources for not that significant of a price bump. And for high-end customizable plans that either you or your IT department can scale as your website grows, Scala Host. Because Scala allows you to add resources as you go to keep up with growth without switching plans or migrating files, it's basically one solution forever. 
By the way, feel free to visit uptime.mutreviews.com. I've hosted all of these test websites publicly. You can do your own testing and make sure your own conclusions are the same what I did basically. As for your purchases, make sure to grab any discount codes or links available in the description down below. Good luck with your websites and I'll see you in the next video.